Should church musicians get paid? The question of whether church musicians should get paid is a matter of practice and belief that can vary among different religious denominations and congregations. There is no one-size-fits-all answer, and the approach to compensating church musicians can depend on several factors. Denominational beliefs Different religious denominations may have varying views on compensating church musicians. Larger, wealthier congregations may be more inclined to offer salaries or stipends to musicians. While smaller congregations with limited budgets may rely more on volunteer musicians. Musical expertise and time commitment The level of expertise required for the music program and the time commitment expected from musicians can also impact compensation decisions. Musicians who are highly skilled or who invest a significant amount of time in rehearsals and performances may be more likely to receive compensation. Local practices and traditions, local customs and traditions within a particular congregation or community can play a significant role in determining whether church musicians are paid. Some churches have long-standing traditions of compensating musicians, while others may rely primarily on volunteers. Purpose and Ministry Goals The purpose and goals of the music ministry within a specific church can influence compensation decisions. If the church places a high value on music as an integral part of worship and outreach, they may be more willing to allocate resources for paid musicians. Balancing Compensation and Ministry Regardless of whether musicians are paid, it is essential for churches to balance the financial aspect with the spiritual and ministry goals. Compensation should not overshadow the worship and service aspects of music ministry. Levites and Musicians In the Old Testament, the tribe of Levi was designated as the priestly tribe, and they were responsible for various religious duties, including music. Numbers 18 21 24 outlines how the Levites received tithes and offerings as their compensation for their service to the Lord. This could be seen as a form of support for those engaged in religious activities, including musicians among the Levites. Temple Musicians The Old Testament also mentions musicians who served in the temple, such as the singers and players of musical instruments in the worship services. They were appointed to their roles, and their work was seen as an essential part of the worship 1 Chronicles 9.33 1 Chronicles 25-1-7 David and the Levitical musicians King David appointed musicians to play in the tabernacle and later the temple. He even provided instruments for them 1 Chronicles 1.516-4 to Chronicles 29-25-30 David had a heart for worship through music and recognized the importance of supporting those who served in this capacity. In many cases, it comes down to the individual church's policies and priorities, as well as the preferences of the congregation and leadership. Some churches may choose to compensate musicians with a salary, stipend, or honorarium, while others may rely on volunteers who serve out of a sense of devotion and ministry. Ultimately, the decision to pay church musicians is a matter of internal policy and reflection on the church's mission and values. The Bible provides some guidance and principles that can be considered in discussions about compensating church musicians. Although it doesn't offer explicit instructions on this matter, here are some points to consider. Support for ministry workers. The Bible acknowledges the principle of supporting those who are devoted to ministry work. In 1 Timothy 5 17 18 New International Version, it says, The elders who Direct the affairs of the church well are worthy of double honor, especially those whose work is preaching and teaching. For scripture says, Do not muzzle an ox while it is treading out the grain, and the worker deserves his wages. This passage suggests that those engaged in significant ministry roles, such as teaching and preaching, should receive support, which could extend to church musicians if their role is seen as a form of ministry. Levites and Temple Musicians In the Old Testament, the Levites were responsible for various roles in the tabernacle and later in the temple, including music and worship. They received a portion of the offerings and tithes as their inheritance. Because they did not receive land like the other tribes Numbers 18 20-24. This could be seen as an example of providing for those who serve in a sacred capacity, including musicians. 
Offerings and Tithes Throughout the Bible, there is a consistent theme of offerings and tithes being used to support the work of the church, including the maintenance of the temple and the provision for those who served in it. In this context, it could be argued that a portion of the offerings collected by the church could go toward compensating musicians. Voluntary Service The Bible also emphasizes voluntary service and giving from the heart. In 2 Corinthians 9-7 New International Version, says, Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give. Not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. This suggests that while compensation for musicians may be considered, it should not be coercive or compulsory. And individuals should have the freedom to give their talents willingly. Balance and stewardship, ultimately. Any decisions regarding compensation for church musicians should be made with a sense of balance and stewardship. The church should ensure that its financial resources are used wisely and in alignment with its mission and ministry goals.